when he came into the pits after his run in second practice. They couldn't fix it, and they say it's different from all the failures he's had before. But uh, Martin, what about his strategy? Because on paper, one stop is quicker around here, but I don't think he can afford to do that. He needs to be 11th, 12th, somewhere like that on the grid. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to overtake cars fast enough if he loads himself up with fuel. So I would imagine he'll try and go as fast as he can, minimise the pain of the 10-place drop, and then race them. I'm expecting this to be a high 1 minute 20. I think he's the one who can break into the 120s. He's got to be a lot of anger going on in this uh, cockpit. It's an identical situation to Manicor and to Silverstone. Back-to-back -back races in July where he had an engine penalty in qualifying. On both occasions he came through to finish on the podium. Here he has to come through tomorrow to win this Grand Prix. Reliability has been the problem for him this season in half of the Grand Prix, his weekend has been compromised by something going wrong in the car. He's on target to break into the 120s. Raikkonen is on the rampage. He was brilliant through the Lesma. I'd say the driving this afternoon has been breathtaking all the way through. Raikkonen just brushing the gravel out of the way with the sidewall of the tyre. He gets it in very early, but the back end's trying to step up. That cost him a little bit of time. He had a couple of tents in hand. Was it enough? Over the line he goes. He is fastest. He's made, lost a fraction of it, but he's still got enough.